Hey YouTube, I just want to make a quick video on the rear sway bar for the 2014 Corolla. Um, I have an LE model. So I already have the sway bar pulled out. It's just right here. It's a fairly simple installation. Um, you just got, I think there's a bolt that runs through here. It's about 22 millimeters um, or 14 sixteenths, I believe. And there's a nut, or excuse me, there's a nut on the top and a bolt that runs through the bottom. So I'll show you all just real quick under the car. Alrighty, so now we're under the car. You can see right here the, the sway bars uh, inside of the torsion beam. So what you want to look at is right here, it's just a little 10 millimeter. You'll just remove this and then move this little L-shaped bracket out of the way. I'll do this for you real quick. Alrighty, see it'll just pop off just like that. So you're just going to kind of pick it up, just move it out of the way. Just be careful with it. You know, you don't want to damage it. Yep, so you just want to grab, uh, like I said, a torque wrench, breaker bar or something. Uh, and you want to probably try and apply pressure on each side. Just put one wrench here, run wrench here. And then uh, with some force, you'll be able to get it off. Uh, and then it should just slide out. You can just put the new one right in, bolt it right back up, and you should be good to go. As you can see, the installation was fairly simple. I do have the Ebok lowering springs currently. Uh, lowers the carp, I think, about 1.3 inches, but they're progressive springs. So I definitely noticed uh, that, that upgrade really helped with body roll. But I think in combination, uh, the car just feels a lot more planted. Um, I think my next move would be to get a Megan Racing front strut bar i think it'd be kind of similar you know i think since you know they're both the same brand it might have a good combination but you know considering that the trd both sway bar and front strut bar are, are twice the price as megan racing i think that it's kind of just a go-to i mean if your car's under warranty that's one thing but you know just simple little upgrades to make the car a lot more fun to drive so i do actually have the engine cooler intake installed currently uh, I have it partnered with the Jet Power Flow Mass Airflow Sensor. I really think the combination of the two have made the car a little more fun to drive. You know, you're not going to get a lot more horsepower or anything out of it, but it, it just sounds pretty cool. You get to hear some more induction sounds, makes the car feel more alive. Um, and I do think throttle response has definitely been improved with the, the Mass Airflow Sensor. But yeah, the, those are the upgrades that I've done so far. Uh, if you all have any questions, um, suggestions, recommendations, things like that, just please let me know. Uh, other than that, have a good day. I'll thank you for watching.